Hello YouTube, it's me Lauren, and back today with another video for you guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make drip art. Now, oh, by the way, do you see this bump on my head? Basically, I got hit the head with a tennis racket today, and my friend hit me in the head accidentally, but you know, it's okay, we're doing living our bestest life. So, back on topic, we're going to be making drip art today, and here's an example. It's, um, two is like upside down and right side up, you can turn it either way. Um, I'm going to show you how to make this. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get a piece of paper, you're going to get a canvas, whatever you're going to want to make the art on. And the first step to this is you have to make sure that you do not touch with the drip to the very bottom of the canvas like this one you touch. This purple one, see how it's close but it doesn't touch the bottom? If it touches the bottom it won't be drip, it'll just be like a run, so you can't do that. The second thing is I would suggest using pencil, but I don't have a pencil with me right now, so I'm gonna use a pen and you're gonna trace your drips. Now I made these drips really fast, but when you do make your drips, make sure they are even on paper, like this is uneven. And you could do it uneven if you want to, but I'm gonna suggest doing it evenly both ways. That will make it way better. But that's an example. See how it's dripping down this way, and then you turn it upside down and it's still dripping down. So like that. And basically that is it for making drip art. You just color it in and your finished result will probably looks something like this. I don't know, drips can be different, you know? We can make them whatever they want to be. Anyway, that is it for this video, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!